How much vitamin B12 do you need? It depends. Testing really helps you determine whether or not what you're doing in your diet is getting you enough B12 to make sure your body functions well. So first, we have the recommended dietary allowance for the general population, and that is 2.4 micrograms of B12 per day. This is a very low level. Um, for context, one egg has half of a microgram. Um, one salmon filet of farmed salmon is about 2.6 micrograms. Um, sockeye, wild sockeye salmon has a little bit more. It's about 3.8 micrograms. And four ounces of beef liver has 67 micrograms. That is by far the richest source of B12 that we have. So to get B12, if you eat eggs or if you eat meat, um, you are very likely going to meet the recommended dietary allowance. But B12 has um, one specific issue that can really affect absorption, and that is B12 requires something called intrinsic factor that's created in your stomach to be absorbed. So if your intrinsic factor is not functioning or if your stomach is uh, has if you've had gastric bypass surgery if you're taking proton pump inhibitors that's lowering the acid in your stomach if the stomach environment is affected in any way the intrinsic factor could be affected as well so you might be eating enough b12 in foods but you're not absorbing it and if you don't absorb it it doesn't really matter so this is part of why testing is so important you have to know whether or not you are actually absorbing b12 to know how to move forward the good news is B12 is well recycled by the body. Once it's in your body, the liver will recycle it um, and try and reuse it as much as possible. And this is really good, but it also has a negative side because it can mask a deficiency for years. Um, if you haven't been taking in animal products, um, you might not start to develop B12 deficiency symptoms for many, many years. But it's important to continue to get B12 into your daily diet so that you don't um, end up with some of the severe deficiency symptoms.